Hello viewers! In today's video I will show you how to use the segment function in ABAP. The function is very useful if you want to use and read out parts of strings, for example segments. These segments are addressed via an index. So for a better understanding, I have a little uh, example here. First I declare some variables, LV fruits, type string, next LV fruit, type string, next I will fill the string with some words, with some fruits, so I write here apple, then banana, orange, grapes, and cherry. So, and now I want to display only the word orange from my string. And this is quite easy with the segment function. So I write here LV fruit is segment and I pass here some parameters. First the value. The value is the variable of my string. So I write here LV fruits. And next I have to pass an index. And for the orange I have to pass here the index 3. Because orange is on the third position. And now let's write this. And I want to display the variable fruit. Then activate the code and run the program. And we see here the word orange. Orange stands on the third position. Okay. So what's happening when we uh, use here an invalid index, for example, the number six. This is uh, not valid because I only have five words here. Let's check this and I get a dump. We see here an exception. And let's uh, copy this except exception. So we go back and we open the program again. And what I want to do is now I want to catch this exception. So yeah, let's go to edit mode and uh, zoom a little bit. And now we use a try catch block. So I write here. Uh, try and after the segment function I write here uh, catch and I paste here the exception from my dump. Then if the exception uh, is raised then I write exit then end try. So let's activate and run the program and we see there is no dump anymore. The exception is catched. Okay. Next, I want to display all segments from a string. And I can do this with a do loop. So I write here do and and do after the write. And the only thing I have to change is the index. I use here the system variable su index. This index is increased every loop. So let's activate and run the program. And I see here all my uh, segments. Um, and uh, we have a uh, Another option in this segment function, we can pass here a, separated, a, a separator as well. For example, if the segments have some spaces, 
or blanks in it. And the only thing I have to do, I pass here the separator. In my case, it's the comma. And now I have only three indexes. Let's run the program. And we see here the three strings with the blanks. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. I think the function is quite useful. Previously, you would have had to use a string table here or fill an internal table in advance. With the segment function, this is all easier and faster in my opinion. Yes, that was it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments. I always enjoy reading them. Until next time, thank you and see you soon.